Hi, hello and welcome to another video by the scientist formerly known as Nigeli. This project is about making soda can hot air balloons for decorative purposes. The raw materials are soda cans, like always. As I am more into wine, I cannot drink all that beer myself, so I use the leftovers from the party of my kids. I'll show you two methods how to make this soda can hot air balloons and we start with the easier one where almost no tools are needed. Make marks with the adding one centimeters apart from each other around the soda can. Draw a line starting from a mark parallel to the longer side of the can. Repeat the marking starting from the line on the bottom part of the soda can. Now connect the marks from both sides with the adding. After this indication of the cutting lines, um, we start with the removal of the bottom part. Place your X-Acto knife on a piece of scrap wood, press the blade onto the scrap wood and then turn the soda can around to make a groove. Open the groove with a credit card and you can remove the bottom. With the help of scissors, we are going to make cuts along the lines we already marked on the soda can. This is basically the end of the first method because the end is the same as when preparing the soda can with the second method. As we would like to make a lot of those uh, hot air balloons from soda cans, uh, we prepare a tool and that's um, what I would like to show you in this second method. The removal of the bottom part is the same, but it's not required to make any kind of indications and lines and drawings. The trick here is to use pipe insulation foam. These pipe insulations are available a little bit bigger than the diameter of a soda can. Cut out a little bit to make it fit closely into the soda can. This foam provides the necessary counter pressure when we work on the surface of the can with the knife. In addition, we make a chick where half of the soda can can be placed inside. Use an adding to make again the marks on one side. Now place the blade onto the surface of the small chick. Start from the mark and then make cuts around the soda can. As you can see, you are much faster with this method and the cuts are much more nicer than when using the scissors. As always, when working with soda cans, it's not required to cut through the aluminum. It's enough if you just bend the aluminum around or near the groove and the soda can aluminum will fall apart. Bend the stripes so they will form a sun-like structure. You find the link in the description of the video concerning the tool I'm using here for bending. Now the next steps are the same for both methods. We start applying glue on the end of both sides of the strips. And that's my second important tip here. Don't use any kind of super glue. It's just too complicated. Use a styrofoam glue that has to be applied on both sides. Let the sides dry separately 15 to 20 minutes, then stick them together. Be sure to align them properly when you do, because you won't get a second chance. You see that I'm aligning them, allowing for a small hole in the middle. The strips hold immediately together.
Now we start forming the hot air balloon by applying a little bit of pressure onto the strips. Nice! This looks already like a balloon. Now we have to make the cabin. For this I use a flattened soda can sheet. I already posted a video how to do this. Just follow the link in the upper right corner. Make some cuts with uh, scissors and then Fold the sheet to a basket. With some pliers you bring the basket into its permanent form. Then form a paper clip so you can use it as a connector between the basket and the balloon. The bottom part of the paper clip is then fixed in the basket with hot glue. Then add some hot glue to the bottom part of the balloon and connect the basket to the balloon. Let dry the hot glue. One side of a transparent string is fixed to the soda can tab. It serves perfectly as a holder. The other side of the string is fixed to a thumbtack. Arrange the hot air balloons on different heights so it looks stylish. So if you liked that video please subscribe to my channel, check out all the other videos and give me a thumbs up. Stay creative and so long!